They call it a driver's track. A mile and three-eighths of slick asphalt that separates the good drivers from the great ones. Welcome to Intro to Track Building, brought to you by GameTutor.com. Throughout this course, we are going to take a look at how we can generate a bunch of different digital assets here inside of Houdini. So we can procedurally generate uh, different track layouts. Uh, in this course, we are going to focus on creating a very simple oval track uh, layout with a nice figure eight here in the middle, along with a uh, pit area, an announcer booth, and some lights and some tires and some guardrails. Uh, we're going to go through each and every one of those uh, particular digital assets so you can get a full understanding of how you can build up more of a toolkit that helps you lay out your uh, race tracks for your particular video games so that you can utilize um, all these different particular digital assets inside of the Houdini engine. So if we take a look here, we can actually go in and, and edit and mess with a lot of the different features here inside of these digital assets. So what we want to do is we want to be able to uh, change things like where the actual uh, pit area goes so we can put that on the left or the right side all right, without having to remodel the terrain. Uh, we can come in and we can uh, change um, the track separation which is just the distance here. All right, We can come in here and change uh, stuff like the radius of the whole track. And all while most of these different assets uh, will update accordingly to the terrain. All right, so each asset here that you see in this toolkit to build an oval track acts independently, but they all utilize the terrain as their base. All right, we can change things like the pit area over here. We can go in and we can change the, the pit depth if you want. Uh, we can change the amount of bays that we have in here. We can ch change the bay height. We can change the overhang height there. We can change, even change the pitch of the roof. All right. So all these different digital assets that we're going to create throughout this course um, all have that kind of flexibility so that when you're designing your different tracks, we can go in and we can tweak everything. Um, nothing is static in terms of how it's modeled. Um, and so we can provide artists and designers a way to quickly and easily make iterations on their designs um, so the track can get built quicker and uh, more, more efficiently. All right, so we have a lot to cover uh, throughout this course. Uh, so let's get started. Thanks so much.